uh, the myth of Chris Christie is going to come apart under close scrutiny. He's a great guy, but Except, you don't want this okay, guy then, sitting across from the Chinese yelling at, and screaming at people and showing up late for meetings with, with the Russians. Yeah, but this, actually, is not the, he's, this guy's not supposed to be actually, president of the United States because well, he's a nice... Me, all right, let me jump in. I actually think he's exactly the kind of guy America probably needs jumping up and, and lambasting the Chinese and the Russians. Do you hate America that much? No, that you I, want? I love America, but isn't part of America's problem a chronic lack of self-confidence and aggression when dealing with these new threats to its I, superpower I think, I think we had enough And isn't Chris aggression. Christie exactly the kind of guy who might just grab the nettle and say, you know what, we're oh, going to start punching our way again? This is a sitcom. We don't need a, a, a Archie Bunker to be president of the United States. Listen, <laughs> uh, we had enough aggression and crazy stuff from George W. Bush and we got two wars we couldn't pay for and we're still trying to dig out of it. Listen, look at what is actually happening in New Jersey. Uh, you, you literally have uh, jobs going down, property taxes going up, nobody calls him on this stuff. This guy's getting a cakewalk because he's entertaining. You got a lot of entertainers, they should get their own show like you, they shouldn't be president of the United States. It's ridiculous. You know, I didn't know quite how seriously I should take him as a threat to the Democratic Party until I just heard that rant, Van Jones. Now I'm completely convinced that he's obviously a massive threat to you lot. <laughs> well, hey, listen, it is in fact the case uh, that somebody like this could, he's snookered you, he's hoodwinked the world. Uh, he, listen, how can he be a fiscal conservative? and waste $12 million to make sure that Cory Booker, he's not, a, he's not only afraid to run against Cory Booker, he doesn't even want to deal with Cory Booker's coattails because he's so interested well, in fooling you with I this spent, faked I sp up, I spent trucked a, up no, uh, no, no. spread. I spent a whole day with Chris Christie uh, a year or so ago, and one of the single most impressive politicians I've met in America, and somebody I just thought was a natural-born winner. And no well, bad thing to have that as your resume running into a presidential campaign when America has been suffering this very unusual crisis He's of confidence. He's hypnotized by hero Piers Morgan. He's been <laughs> hypnotized and snookered by this guy. It's unbelievable. I like him. What can I so, say? <laughs> you can like him. Hey, listen, go out and have a beer with him. Watch him yell at, at, at school teachers. It's kind of fun to watch him you know, be mean to people. But at the end of the day, let's be very serious now. Why has he been successful? He's been successful because Democrats were willing to work with him and, and Obama has faced Republicans who are not willing to, re to return the favor. His story is not just a story of his success, where he's been successful, and it's not that much. It's a, a story of Democrats in his state putting New Jersey first. Republicans in Washington, D.C. put Republicans first, not America first. You, you're now going to be in a situation, I guarantee you, this, this shtick is going to wear pretty thin when you start looking at his actual record of accomplishments. I think he's, he's, a, he's a funny guy, and especially if you like somebody who's going to yell at school teachers and stuff, and, and that's great. But that doesn't make you qualified to be president of the United States of America. Somebody's got to stop this crazy thing before it gets too far and we wind up with this guy in the White House. Well, it could, of course, have been your fellow Democrats, but 30 percent of them voted for Chris Christie. So that probably says <laughs> well, it. The, no, no, national just, Democrats just, didn't put a dime in there. Just pointing it out. Just pointing out. 30 percent of Democrats voted for I, the guy. I, can't be that. Can't be that horrendous.